Bryce Hall speaks out about the fight that happened at a Los Angeles restaurant. We'll tell you what he said and why he's beefing with Zach Clayton now. I'm Kelsey McDonald and you're watching The Daily Report. Another day, another Bryce Hall story. Yesterday it was reported that Bryce Hall was involved in yet another brawl. We say another because footage leaked earlier this month of a brawl on the streets of Hollywood. At the time, Bryce tweeted the footage of the fight and wrote, quote, We don't condone violence, but if you punch someone in front of us, we'll have no choice but to defend ourselves. He later explained on his podcast that it was a misunderstanding that ended in a handshake. Don't you wish all fights could end like that? Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? However, a couple of days ago, it seems that Bryce found himself in another fight, but this time in a restaurant. According to TMZ, Bryce and friends were sitting on the patio, vaping, which is illegal in LA, and when asked to stop, Bryce blew smoke into the server's face. The table was then given their check and asked to leave, but when the server went inside to swipe Bryce's credit card, everything went sideways outside, and Bryce had an employee in a headlock. Zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> And since there were several patrons of the restaurant also enjoying their meals, there is footage of the fight, but most of it starts in the middle. It was quickly broken up and the group was told to leave multiple times. You can hear Bryce taunting the restaurant staff as he left. And now one employee allegedly has a broken hand and says that they will be pressing charges against Bryce. I feel like this is Jake Paul 2.0. But according to Bryce, that's not at all how it went down. In a statement made to People, Bryce said, quote, I did vape in the outdoor seating area of the restaurant. However, when the manager approached me and requested I leave, I obliged and asked for my card that was being held with my table. He went on to say that he had to ask for his credit card back over 10 times, which he still doesn't have, before the manager told him to get the F off of the property. Bryce explained, quote, he then grabbed me and tried to pull me out, so I threw his hand off and said, don't touch me, what are you doing? And he proceeded to grab me again. Bryce said that when one of his friends noticed what was going on, he stepped in the middle of it in an attempt to de-escalate it, but only made it worse because his friend and the manager started pushing each other. He went on to say, quote, I put my hand in the middle and tried to stop it. The manager then proceeded to tackle my friend to the ground, and that's when I got on top of him and put him in a headlock in an attempt to get him to stop fighting. Then his employees walked over and started kicking me. This is literally out of a movie. Fight Club, round three. He also claimed that any other variation of the story is false and that he has witnesses who have offered to come forward and his own video that a bystander sent him that will quote, show a lot of what happened. He told fans that the story is missing a lot of context and isn't who he is. He had a quote, When I was young, my dad abused me and my mom and was removed from the house. From that day forth, I swore that I will never become like my father. This story portrays me to be like my dad and I can't respond with no comment like my PR team wanted me to. This is a matter of moral clarity, not about protecting my name. And if physical fights weren't enough, sometimes Bryce likes to take his fights to Twitter as well. He recently got into it with Zach Clayton when Zach called out influencers who still party during the pandemic. He didn't name Bryce specifically, but Bryce definitely took it personally because he tweeted back at Zach, quote, this is one example of a fake influencer that promotes not going to parties and wearing masks, but attends those same parties and says the mask and guidelines when off camera. Practice what you preach and try not to be fake. Let's remember you attended my B-Day party. This started a back and forth between the two where Zach said that he was called out and stopped partying after Bryce's birthday party. But Bryce then claimed that Zach has still been out at events that don't meet COVID safety guidelines. He once again told Zach to practice what you preach, which is odd because it's not like Bryce is hiding the fact that he's partying, but I guess since he isn't preaching COVID safety, he doesn't have to practice it. I don't know. Well, Bryce now took this issue to Josh Richards' podcast, where he claims that when Bryce beat up Zach, it was the peak of Zach's career. He also talked about how Zach puts Bryce in videos and uses his relationship with Addison Ray for content. This clip was posted to the TikTok Shade Room, where Zach commented, quote, why does this man always gotta talk negative on other people? And when one fan wrote back, quote, buddy, you were the one to start, Zach said, quote, I never directly talked down on someone. I made a general tweet about people who still party five times a week during COVID. All love to Bryce and I'm happy to see him still getting in fights once a month. And while Bryce didn't comment on the Instagram post, he did tweet out shortly after, quote, irrelevant creators keep my name in their mouth to get their social blades green for once. It's so sad, but do whatever to pay your bills, I guess. 
A lot of drama surrounding Bryce these days, but now we want to know what you think. Do you believe Bryce's story at the restaurant? Let us know down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel. And make sure to check us out at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. I'm Kelsey McDonald, and wow, guys, I just went through a lot of technical difficulties and didn't use, but I did it all. I did it. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. They have no idea what I'm talking about, but just yay me. <laughs>